Scientists just connected human brain cells to AI. The results are terrifying. The mind-bending breakthrough. What happens when human brain cells, the product of millions of years of evolution, are merged with artificial intelligence, the most powerful technology we've ever built? It's no longer science fiction. In 2025, researchers confirmed a breakthrough. Living neurons grown in a lab have been fused with AI, creating a hybrid intelligence unlike anything before. This video unpacks how scientists achieved it, what it can do, and the risks it brings. From curing diseases to reshaping human identity, here's what happens when biology and AI collide. Birth of biocomputers. For decades, computers have been built from silicon, transistors arranged into chips that crunch numbers at incredible speeds. But no matter how advanced silicon gets, it still can't match the brain. Your brain runs on just 20 watts of power, less than a dim light bulb. Yet it outperforms the largest supercomputers in flexibility, adaptability, and pattern recognition. That's because neurons aren't rigid circuits. They rewire themselves, form new connections, and learn in ways machines simply can't. Researchers asked a daring question. What if we could harness living brain cells as part of computers, not simulate neurons, but actually grow them and connect them to machines? That's how the concept of biocomputers was born. By cultivating human neurons in petri dishes and linking them to digital systems, scientists hope to tap into the efficiency and adaptability of biology while combining it with the raw speed and precision of silicon, the role of cortical labs. One of the pioneers in this field is Cortical Labs, a Melbourne-based biotech startup. They made headlines in 2023 when they grew brain organoids, miniature clusters of human neurons, and taught them to play the video game Pong. Yes, you heard that right. Brain cells in a dish learn to play Pong. How? by connecting the neurons to electrodes and giving them real-time feedback. When the cells move the paddle correctly, they received a stimulus resembling a reward. When they failed, they got nothing. This was reinforcement learning, the same principle used in AI training, but happening inside living neurons. The cells adapted, improved, and developed strategies for the game. It was the first proof that human neurons in a lab could interact with digital systems in meaningful ways. And cortical labs didn't stop there. Their next step was integrating AI systems with these neurons, creating hybrid networks that blend biological intelligence with machine learning. How do you merge brain cells with AI? The process might sound like science fiction, but the science is remarkably precise. Culturing neurons. Scientists take stem cells and grow them into neurons, forming small brain organoids, electrode arrays. These organoids are placed on microelectrode grids that can both record signals from the neurons and stimulate them. AI integration. The electrode signals are fed into an AI model, which learns to interpret the brain cell's activity. In return, the AI provides feedback, creating a closed learning loop. The result is a system where biological neurons and digital algorithms train each other. Neurons provide adaptability, intuition, and flexibility. AI provides structure, scale, and memory. Together, they create a new form of computing that's neither fully human nor fully artificial. Why this matters? Power and efficiency. The advantages are staggering. Energy efficiency. A human brain uses about 20 watts of power. A supercomputer performing similar tasks might require megawatts. If hybrid systems could replicate even a fraction of that efficiency, data centers could shrink their energy use dramatically. Learning flexibility. Unlike traditional computers, neurons adapt. They're not locked into predefined programming. That makes them ideal for tasks like pattern recognition, decision-making under uncertainty, and real-time adaptation. Beyond binary, silicon works in ones and zeros. Neurons work in complex electrical and chemical signals with far more nuance. That means new ways of encoding and processing information, potentially leading to breakthroughs in AI that classical computing could never achieve. In short, these systems could make today's AI look primitive. Medical miracles on the horizon. One of the most promising uses of brain AI hybrids is in medicine. Imagine testing new drugs not on animals or humans, but on lab-grown neurons linked to AI. Scientists could simulate how the human brain reacts to compounds in real time, speeding up drug discovery while reducing risks. Neurological disorders like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and epilepsy could be studied with unprecedented precision. Hybrid systems could model disease progression, predict treatment outcomes, and even personalize therapies to an individual's brain patterns. And in the long run, brain-computer hybrids might even help restore lost functions, enabling paralyzed patients to control prosthetics more naturally or helping stroke victims rebuild neural pathways faster. 
the ethical earthquake. Of course, with breakthroughs, this radical come unsettling questions. Consciousness. If neurons in a dish can learn Pong, could larger networks begin to feel? They develop primitive awareness? Rights. If brain organoids become sophisticated enough, do they deserve rights? At what point does an organoid stop being just cells and start being someone? Control. Who decides how these systems are used? Governments? Corporations? And what happens if they're weaponized? Even some researchers admit they don't fully understand what they're creating. The line between tool and entity is starting to blur, and society isn't ready for the legal or moral consequences. Supercharging AI with biology. Current AI models like ChatGPT, Gemini and Claude are limited by hardware. They require massive clusters of GPUs, enormous data sets, and vast amounts of energy. But when you add living neurons to the mix, AI could leap beyond those limits. Biological neurons bring intuition and adaptability, qualities machines struggle to simulate. In turn, AI provides scale and memory. Together, they could create hybrid minds capable of learning in ways we've never seen. Think about it. AI that can think more like a human, but without forgetting, without fatigue, and without the need for massive energy resources. This could be the beginning of post-silicon intelligence. Risks that can't be ignored. But let's be clear, this technology is dangerous. Hacking the brain. If neurons are connected to digital systems, they're vulnerable. In theory, someone could intercept or alter signals, manipulating thought patterns. Loss of privacy. If machines can read brain activity, how long before they can extract memories, desires, or fears? Weaponization. Hybrid biocomputers could become the foundation for new kinds of autonomous weapons. Machines that don't just follow code, but think biologically. Runaway intelligence. The biggest risk is unpredictability. We don't fully understand how neurons might behave when scaled up with AI. What if they develop emergent intelligence? What if they become something we can't control? These aren't just technical challenges. They're existential ones. What scientists saw in early experiments, the first real experiments merging neurons with AI, researchers noticed something strange. Neurons didn't just passively respond. They began showing signs of adaptation that exceeded expectations. When connected with AI reinforcement loops, the organoids began forming patterns faster than predicted. Some even suggested the neurons were anticipating feedback, almost like they were learning to predict outcomes, not just react. It was a small step, but it hinted at something profound. Hybrid systems might not just perform tasks, they might develop strategies, showing the first glimmers of machine biological cognition. The future of humanity in the loop. What does all this mean for us? In the best case scenario, hybrid intelligence could revolutionize medicine, energy efficiency, and scientific discovery. It could build machines that cure diseases, solve climate models, and even help us understand the mysteries of consciousness itself. In the worst case scenario, we create entities that blur the line between human and machine, with no clear rules for how to treat them or how to stop them if they go wrong. Some futurists even suggest this is the first step toward a new form of life. Not human, not machine, but something entirely new. The dawn of hybrid minds merging human brain cells with ARII is one of the most unsettling and exciting breakthroughs ever made. It challenges our ideas of intelligence, consciousness, and what it means to be human. The question now isn't if it will shape the future, it's whether we'll guide it responsibly or let it guide us. So what do you think? Breakthrough or Pandora's box? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for more deep dives into the future of technology.